Hey, 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 welcome to Shopping with Cheryl. I'm Cheryl, and today we are using the Nostalgia My Mini Waffle Maker. This makes little five inch waffles perfect for kids, grandkids, even me. I like the smaller waffles. I don't like to have the giant waffles to eat in the morning, or then my whole day is just like all I want to do is sleep. So, this is a great for a quick breakfast. It doesn't take oil. I'm gonna plug it in. The light will turn red because it's preheating. I'm gonna open this real quick before it gets too hot. Yes, I just used it a little bit earlier, but it is non-stick inside. You get the waffle on both sides. They say you can use it for hash browns, a variety of things. Yes, there will be a link in the description. It will be an affiliate link. If you use my link and make a purchase, I may make a commission. Now, it just takes a minute or two for this to heat up. Once it does, we put in our waffle mix. I will tell you this, I use plain old mix, but I don't make it like pancake mix. I add an egg to help uh, hold it together. So it, for me, that's how I've always done it. I just add an egg, a whisk it real good, and then just don't add as much water. If you choose to want to put some oil on this, I have done it before and I just take a little bit of my oil, olive oil, sunflower oil, something like that, put it on a paper towel and kind of rub it around. I don't use oil. But now we have clicked off the red. So let me grab my waffle mix and it only takes a couple of tablespoons to fill this up. Well, I don't need a whole big one. There we go. And once that's in there, now it'll spread out, of course. I'm gonna go ahead and close the lid. And it's gonna take about two and a half, three minutes is all it takes. It doesn't take very long at all. Pretty soon as it heats up, you'll see it starting to rise. Now normally, cause I'm making some to freeze because I freeze them. Then when I want a waffle, I just pull one out. I can put it in the toaster like, like your other frozen waffle brands. And it's starting to rise. This makes it super easy for a quick breakfast on the go or if kids and grandkids are over and they want something quick, Boom, frozen waffles, but they are ones you actually made. We've got some steam coming up. I love the little mini things. To me, they make sense. I am not a, I'm more of a grazer and not a big eater. So to be able to make smaller portions is what I like. Normally when I make waffles that I'm gonna eat, and I just ate one a little bit ago, I put my syrup on the bottom of the plate, then I put my waffle, and then I have my peanut butter <laughs> that I put on top because I eat all mine with peanut butter. But as you can see, it, it maybe you can see, it's still steaming. We've got it. I'm going to raise this if it'll let me so I can kind of show you. See, it is raising up and starting to get a little brown. But I have several of the little mini uh, things. I have mini rice cookers, uh, mini waffle makers, pancake makers, things like that. Especially if you don't have kids or a whole big family you're feeding, or you want to make something easy for the kids. I would say most older kids could work this by themselves easy as pie. It does get hot and the steam coming off is hot. So you have to watch that, especially with little ones but older kids, they could use this in a heartbeat. So we're gonna let this brown up and then we're gonna take a look at it. Let's take a peek, see how we're going. Oh, it's getting there. I didn't grab the timer, so I'm kind of guessing on this. But there's also a link in the description to follow me on Amazon, follow my shop over there. Love to have you follow me over there too, so that I can kind of build some rank over there and have a way to show you even more things. 
So let's check it again. Like I said, I should grab my timer. I didn't. Oh, there we go. We are browning. Psh, gotta love that. This is in real time so you can see how it does make it. I could have saved it, chopped it up, and just showed you the results, but that doesn't show you how long it really does take. And if I quit lifting it, it would go a lot quicker. Yeah, That's how it works in my life is I have to check things. I Yeah, I should grab my timer. I've got like, a, I don't know how many timers. I didn't grab one. So I'm pretty sure it's about done. I'll just unplug it. Let it set for a little bit longer. And then we have golden brown waffles ready to eat or freeze them so you can grab them on the go. You can use these waffles for a million different things, not just breakfast. Trust me, been there, done that. They're also good for lunch and dinner or a midnight snack. <laughs> so here we go. Let me grab this out of here. I know it's going to be warm. I should have got a fork. Hmm. Thankfully, I have one right there. So I'm just going to pop this up. Like I said, I did not oil this at all. And here we go. Nice, fluffy, golden brown waffle ready to eat. Although I'm probably going to start refrigerating these, but there you go. Doesn't look good. You can go make one yourself now, or you can go order the mini waffle maker and then make them. <laughs> you might have to wait till Amazon gets it there, but it won't take very long, especially if you're a Prime member. So go check out Nostalgia, my mini waffle maker, and we'll see you in the next video showing off my world-famous cooking skills.